This is one of the most beautiful houses in you're looking for the best Instagrammable places in San Francisco or maybe you just arrived in the city and you have no idea where to go to look for the best photo spots in the city. All you can think of is the Golden Gate Bridge and Lombard Street. That's exactly what this video is about along with some hidden gems that only locals know about. Today we'll be taking you on a photo tour of some of the hidden and missable locations in San Francisco. Let's dive right in. We headed to downtown San Francisco on this sunny day sightseeing along the way. Our first stop was really special for us. It felt like we had been transported back to Morocco. We parked a couple of blocks away and walked over to the Alcazar Theater. <laughs> we were in Morocco! <laughs> Just kidding. We're here at the Alcazar Theater and I've been wanting to come to this specific spot for so long now. It was built in 1917 actually. Theater in 1970. So this is the Alcazar Theater. Um, there's lots of performances here on and off Broadway. There's cabaret. There's like comedy shows. And I think it's like a like 511 person capacity. Uh, but it looks so beautiful from the outside. It just reminds me so much of, of Morocco. And so it's uh, right here. was Lombard Street. We're here at Lombard Street. It is the crookedest, known as the crookedest street in the world. It has eight curves turns and we are finally here. This is really for a special friend of mine, Fina. This is definitely for you. We're here today, finally. Lombard Street was constructed in 1922, and contrary to popular belief, Lombard Street isn't actually the crookedest street in the world. But it's still hands down one of the most iconic streets in the city and one of the most popular San Francisco photography spots. It's so beautiful. We haven't been here in years, and um, you know, having lived kind of in and around the city, uh, we really haven't made time to just come explore um, our own backyard and here we are. This is one of the most beautiful houses, the kind of light baby sky blue house uh, and it has this big show of Bogadia. Um, yeah, it's actually the prettiest house. So glad you made it. The blue house adorned with magenta bougainvillea is a great highlight of the block and the most beautiful house on the street.
Our next stop took us to the marina by Christie Fields. We saw so many of these go-kart tours along the way. This is another great way to explore the city. Let us know in the comments below if we should try go-kart tours to tour San Francisco in one of our videos. We found this beautiful gated house lined with bougainvillea. The wooden door and the design of the entrance reminded us so much of Bali. So we decided to stop here and take a few photos. We then headed down the street to a well-known fairy tale bougainvillea house which did not disappoint. The bougainvillea spreads across the white and teal house while the rose bush creeps up to the tiny balcony. Walking down the street, we found a magical courtyard which felt much like a Riyadh courtyard in Morocco. This location is an apartment complex with a photogenic courtyard and we couldn't resist taking a few photos here. We made sure to be very quiet and respectful for the few minutes that we were there. While we were headed to our next location, we saw a corner house with such a pretty balcony with bougainvillea hanging from it. Luckily, we found parking and took some photos here as well. Our next stop was a random house worth stopping for. This house is on the inside streets and can be easily missed. Lush, bright red and fuchsia bougainvillea spread across the garage doors, showing off to whoever passes by. Upon leaving, we spotted yet another bougainvillea garage door that desperately needed our attention. While taking photos, we met one of the residents and thankfully they were very welcoming. Our next stop happened to be a realty company which caught our eye. This building also reminded us of Morocco. The color of the building with the mosaic tiles and lanterns screamed Morocco to us. It was so interesting to see how other parts of the world came alive in different parts of the city. The next stop is not a secret among locals, but may not have been on your radar. The famous Bougainvillea House. This is the most stunning showcase of Bougainvillea we'd seen in our lives and finally getting the chance to visit was incredible. We met one of the owners and they were kind enough to welcome us and take our photos as well. But yeah. when we made a right uh, on the street of uh, uh, actually, Broadway, yeah, it's yeah. Broadway. And I saw this really pretty house uh, with the beautiful views that I yeah. will check out first, and, and then, then uh, we're gonna we go, go down, down stairs. <laughs> this location right here was insta worthy. It was full of various foliage and again bougainvillea. The garage door was painted black and rose gold with bougainvillea beautifully decorated above. here and the building that I was talking about is this one. It's so pretty. It has all the blooms. It has some palm trees. 
and so much um, foliage and different types of, there's some cacti, there's different types of plants. Hello. <laughs> and I believe uh, this building is the Panama Pacific International Exposition 1915. I don't know, that's what it's called. It's, well, no, it's, it's called something else. It's called Willis something something. Anyway, we don't oh, want to... We don't want to step on anyone's property. We are here. <laughs> yeah, we, we're not trespassers. But yeah, super pretty. Try to come here if you're going to come to the city. We then made our way down to the Lion Street steps and enjoyed our first time in this area of San Francisco. The area is well kept and has benches for resting if you get tired walking up and down the steps. We saw plenty of people working out here when we went around midday. All the way to the bottom of the steps you'll find the Public Heart, one of 130 sculptures on display throughout San Francisco. While you're there, you can take a lot of photos while taking in the views of the marina. You can also see the Palace of Fine Arts, which is one of the remaining structures of the Panama Pacific Exposition. We found another hidden gem in the residential area with the entrance beautifully designed with bougainvillea and multicolored roses. Instagram photo? Yes, please! On another street, we found another garage decorated with bougainvillea. There's clearly a pattern here and we're here for it. These blooms were bright fuchsia purple and stood out beautifully contrasting the wide garage door. We were careful to stay on the sidewalk and take all our photos. Our last stop was unplanned. On our way home, we couldn't help but notice this tall bougainvillea giving off Rapunzel vibes. This stunning fuchsia bougainvillea climbed all the way to the roof of the house. We had to take some photos here to show the length of the blooms. So this is our last spot. And that's it for the video, you guys. We hope you enjoyed all these hidden gems that we found ourselves. Some of them we found ourselves today in the city. So if you're gonna come out to the city or you're looking for pretty pictures for your Instagram, uh, then don't forget to hit up these spots. They are kind of away from the more touristy areas, and more, more in the, the residential. residential areas. Uh, so that's it for the video. Yeah. So if you guys would like more information, visit our blog. And uh, that's it for the video. We'll catch you in the next one.